sewing machine types. Since 1846, many makes and models of sewing machines have been made with a wide range of designs, features, applications, and construction. We can group these sewing machines in many different ways. It is important to recognize the type of sewing machine that you're working on because of the similarities in those machines. This makes understanding how they work and how to adjust them much easier. Here are some typical categories or groupings of sewing machines. By application, you have heavy industrial machines, you have cottage industry machines, and you have sewing machines for home use. By the skeleton or the uh, frame of the sewing machine, you have external frames, internal frames, and today you have some machines that are made simply with a shell. Stitch formation. Some machines were made with chain stitches, others with locked stitches, others with overlock stitches, and today we have computerized embroidery machines that use a lock stitch controlled by the computer. We can group by power system. In the earliest times, they had hand and foot controlled mechanical devices. Then we had AC motors, and finally today we have DC motors. Perhaps the most important grouping is by the hook movement. You'll find that in most sewing machines, you have either an oscillating hook or a rotary hook. You also have issues with bobbin placement. Where do you put the bobbin? Either on the left side, the front, or the top. We also can group the machines by technology, whether they're mechanical machines, electronic, or computerized machines. We can also group home machines by the width of their widest stitch. 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 7 millimeter, or 9 millimeter. We can also group sewing machines somewhat by the size of their bobbin. In the earliest days, there was a long bobbin, and then we had class 15s and class 66. Today, the critical issue is making sure that the bobbin you're using in the sewing machine matches that sewing machine. When a technician first sees a sewing machine, they should be able to quickly and automatically identify the type of the machine and have an understanding of uh, how to work with that particular type of machine. For more information on sewing machine repair, check out FixSewingMachines.com and the Fix Sewing Machines Institute where you can learn sewing machine repair for fun or profit.